feeling so small Watch the clock ticking up Hi guys, so how are you all okay? Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video This feels so good, I feel really really good to be sat here today doing a video because I just want to say before we get into this, I don't want to ramble, but I'm so sorry that I've been a little bit absent and all over the place with YouTube at the moment. I've just had a few things going on, but I'm back. I am back. I'm getting my life sorted and yeah, my free uploads per week will be back to normal as of next week. So it's Sunday today, as of next week. But today's video, as you will have already saw the title, Amazon. Let's talk Amazon. <gasps> Where do I even begin with Amazon? I am an Amazon addict. Let me tell you, if there is anything I need in life, the first thing I do is go on Amazon and look because if you guys don't know or are not familiar with Amazon, you don't use it a lot. Amazon is that online world, similar to eBay, where I always feel like you get really good prices for things. Sometimes things are overpriced, but for the most of the times, I feel like you can always get things slightly cheaper on Amazon. I don't know, is that just me or does anyone else feel like that? Yeah, Amazon is just that one website, isn't it? Where it just sells everything and you almost just find yourself in the evenings sitting on Amazon. I mean, I could just be speaking for myself. I just find myself on Amazon putting things in my basket that I don't actually need in my life, but I'm like, oh my God, I actually do need that. So yeah, it's a it's a classic case of I don't need it, but I do need it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and just get on with the video. Today, I really wanted to bring you a sort of like Amazon top picks video because I do shop there so much. I feel like a lot of the stuff in my house is from Amazon. I have bigger furniture, so I could show you things like bigger furniture wise. I could do a video on that as well if you wanted to see that. Um, but for now, I've just got like little knickknacks, organization things, and just bits and bobs that I've bought off there and want to share with you. Without further ado, if you want to see my top picks from Amazon, then please continue watching. Okay, so jumping straight on in, just a little disclaimer, this is all bought with my own money, and um, I've sort of accumulated this over the past month. Some things have just been sat in their boxes and not used yet, because I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm gonna save it for a video. So yeah, I've been itching to put this away and actually use it. But you know, I thought I'd save it for you guys before I wreck it. First thing I picked up from Amazon was a doormat. New year, I needed to get rid of the Santa's doormat, which is still out of my doors. It probably already gave me bad luck now, but anyway, the Santa doormat needs to go. So I went on Amazon um, and I got this doormat. It's such good quality. So admittedly, this isn't something that I would say is super cheap. You can probably get cheaper in like the range, home bargains, home sense and whatever, but this is such a good quality doormat and it says wipe your paws now i really wanted one that had this sort of like black plastic on the back i don't know if you've seen these before but they're just so much more stronger and i just feel like better quality than as opposed to the sort of mats that are just completely like this if that makes sense I could be making no sense right now. But yeah, this was $14.99 um, and I needed a new doormat. I just thought this was so cute. Obviously, you guys know I'm a massive cat lover. Why don't you pause? Um, and yeah, it's really, really good quality. So I'm hoping this lasts for quite a while. So I got that. Next up, let's talk coffee table books. Now, if you don't already know, Amazon is the place to buy your coffee table books. Don't go into Waterstones, WH Smith's any bookstores because they're normally so so expensive they're selling them for the retail price and if they are discounted they're like three pound discounted amazon honestly have them like 20 pound cheaper for example my tom ford book i swear in the stores that was like 80 pound but i got it for like 60 pound on amazon so yeah definitely definitely go to amazon for your coffee table books because i can assure you they are so much cheaper so like i said i already have my tom ford book which is from amazon but i really wanted to get another coffee table book but i didn't want anything just like same oldie, like I know they do beautiful Chanel, Dior, all them sort of style coffee table books. But I really wanted like a nice interior book that I could sort of place on a coffee table or a sideboard somewhere. And I come across this one and it was so affordable. It's this interior book, it's called The Extraordinary Interiors. And it's sort of like a matte black cover. It looks so beautiful. And yeah, I don't... Oh God, just, just going to hit myself there. I don't know what it is. I just really liked the look of this. I just thought it was really like pleasing to the eye. And I thought it would look really nice. I'm actually thinking about getting a black sideboard to put in my living room. And I thought this would just look so nice on it. Stacked with like maybe a couple more books. So this retail was £20. But it was actually £10 on Amazon. Which I thought was such a good buy. It's a really, really nice book as well. I can't wait to look through it all and you know, have a little nose because I'm a little bit obsessed with interior design. So 
design, yeah, they do some really nice interior design books on Amazon. So just type in interior design, coffee table books, and a ton will come up. So that's what I picked up next. Okay, next up we're gonna move on to organization and storage solutions. I feel like Amazon is a really good place to have a look for organization storage ideas. Again, I feel like you get really good prices on there compared to like going into stores and stuff. I, I just, I find it easier to shop on there. I feel like I can actually see what I want. Whereas when you go into places like home sense especially they only have like odd bits and sometimes you can't have like 20 of the baskets you want because there's only like five there so anyway i'm trying to up my organization i'm one of these people that when it comes to my cupboards i cannot be doing with cluttered cupboards they just need to be nicely arranged and organized because i feel like when the inside of your cupboards are organized it makes your mood feel better you can find things a lot easier it just it just makes life easier let's be honest so I've been thinking about the cupboards that I want to organize and there's a lot in the kitchen that I need to get straight so I need to get a pan one I haven't actually got a pan organizer yet but I thought I would start with organizing the baking trays I'm pretty sure you guys can probably relate baking trays I ended up just shoving them in there and if you're not careful they can end up just getting all chucked on top of each other then you've got a saucepan and top and before you know it you look in your saucepan and baking tray cupboard and it's just a complete utter mess so I picked up this from Amazon, um, it's just called a chrome tray rack and the general idea of it is you just slot it in your cupboard like that and then you just put all the trays into it so then it nicely organises them and they're not all on top of each other and getting everywhere, they're just going to be stacked really neat so then you can just take one out and put it back into the sort of tray rack. So yeah, I picked up that first of all, they do do saucepan ones as well so I need to have a look at them and um, get all of them because I think that will help it be even more tidier but yeah I got that to begin with and I think this was around about £10 so not cheap cheap but to be honest with you when I saw these in home sense were about the same price so yeah got that okay so sticking to kitchen organization in my kitchen I actually have a cupboard that's quite a big cupboard it's like two cupboards in one if that makes sense one thing that is taking quite a bit of space up in that cupboard is my spices because I use a lot of herbs and spices within my cooking I've literally got a whole container just full of spices so I thought to you know free up some space I could get one of these so this is actually a spice and herb rack so you simply just screw it in to the inside of your cupboard now I don't obviously want to screw this in because so I don't want to obviously ruin the cupboards but yeah basically it's just a two tier spice rack so you just put this on the inside of your cupboard and then you can just put all of your spices here so honestly it's such a great idea it's going to make it so much easier as well so you haven't got to like get the basket out and you know root through and find the spice you want you can literally just open your cupboard door and see the spice so I've got that but then to make it even more aesthetically pleasing and organized I then bought some spice jars so I'm going to empty all of my spices into the jars label them all up and it's going to be Ooh, why does organization think that this excite me so much? I feel like I'm getting really sad in my older age. Um, but yeah, let me show you them. This is 11 99 by the way, the spice rack. And then these are the spice jars. Let me just check the price of these because I want to make sure I tell you everything accurately. So these spice jars are the glass and I got 12 for 15 99 So they work out at about over a pound each. And this is all they look like. They're just glass with a silver lid on top but what I really like about them is they still have the sort of sprinkle or you can pull and you know put more out if you want to so I like it that they still actually are spice jars and you've got the sprinkle option you're not just going to tip it all out into your food and you know ruin it and then to step up the organization of them even further I then come across on Amazon some stickers I mean this is just genius. This is what I do for fun, guys. I organize. Uh, so these are free 99. I mean, I know you can buy label makers and do them yourself. I do have a label maker, but I don't have one that does this. Actually, a cheaper way of doing this is maybe getting some label, like sticky back paper and printing them out. But I mean, it's a little bit long to do that. So for free 99, I didn't mind paying that. So anyway, this is what the stickers, labels look like. So they just have all different spices everything basil cloves coriander cumin everything that i use is here so that's really really good so 
can't wait to label them up. It's going to be an exciting task. I'll show you the finishing result actually. If you follow me on my home account, Laura Gemma Home, I will include it on there so you can check out how it all looks when I've done it. Okay, and then moving on to the last thing that I picked up for the kitchen. Now, I actually got this idea from Mrs. Hinge. I absolutely love watching her stories and I always find that she just comes across just the most unusual but most handy things for organisation and just life. Um, and it is these universal oven shelf guards. Now these are basically just plastic guards that you put on your wire trays in the oven to stop you burning yourself. If anybody is anything like me, I'm constantly burning myself on the oven. I mean, I do use an oven um, glove and stuff, but sometimes if I've just, you know, open the oven door and I don't actually even know how I do it, but I just have a tendency to burn myself on the racks. So I thought I'd pick some of these up in a bit to stop the burning issue. But yeah, they're just these two plastic grips and like I said they just slot on to the end of your racks and then if you ever do happen to just touch them by accident you're not going to burn yourself so yeah these are £6.99 for two so yeah we can pop them on probably didn't need need it but you know one of those so stick into organization and sort of like storage solutions the next few things I picked up are for my new beauty sort of walk-in wardrobe closets dressing room whatever you want to call it if you follow me on instagram and have watched my video i actually did a video on it then yeah you'll have saw that i've sort of transformed my spare bedroom into a walk-in wardrobe it needed to be done for the longest time i own way too many clothes um so yeah i'm so pleased with it so definitely go and check out that video if you haven't already watched it but yeah now that is all done and looking very aesthetically pleasing and helping me organize my life i really wanted to make sure that all my drawers in that room are just as organized and well presented and aesthetically pleasing as the outside so i thought i'd pick up a few sort of like storage solutions um, to sort of organise the insides of the drawers. So the first thing I picked up were these. What are they actually called? Because these are really, really good quality. I'm actually like really impressed with these. Let me find what they're called. So they are called the La Jolie Muse Storage Basket Set 4. Stackable woven basket um, in grey rope, it says. So these are £15.99. So not the cheapest, but you do get four. So if you work it out each, three, four, yeah... It doesn't work out too expensive and they're really really good quality basically you get four different sized just storage baskets a small size then one up from that and then one up from that and then a big one so i just thought these little baskets would be really good just to insert into the drawers um, i'm not too sure what i'm gonna put in there yet but yeah i just feel like because I have got the Ikea Pax wardrobes, I've got quite a few drawers. I don't just want to be shoving things into the drawers because then that's how it all gets messy. I really want them sectioned and organised. So I thought I'd pick up them. I probably may need some more. I then also picked up some other sort of like storage baskets to go inside the drawers. Now these ones, I'm pretty sure you guys may be familiar with these. I think you can get similar things to this from Ikea. And it is these. These sort of like pop up little baskets so i got these mainly to organize my sort of like sock and underwear drawer so you know i can like put like bras in one and then like underwear in one and socks in one because i feel like them drawers are always a mess and then any ones that i've got left over um i don't know i'll find some sort of use but yeah there's so many different sizes of these these were 12.99 it doesn't actually say how many i got but i got oh so i think it was seven pieces and they were like 12 pounds again i don't think that's bad value you can probably get them cheaper maybe in home sense i'm not sure i've never actually looked at how much they are in ikea in home sense and stuff but yeah anyway needed some of them so i've got some of them to be super organized with I Okay, and then sticking to the dressing room, I also picked up this organisation unit. So again, I don't know if anybody else relates to me with this, but I can sometimes get in such a mess with my hair dryer, my straighteners, my curlers, and it all get twisted and knotted together, and yeah, it's just not a good situation. And I come across this on Amazon. So this is thirteen forty nine, which again, I don't really think is that bad value, and it's just simply a storage solution for your hair dryer. You can pop the hair dryer in the middle one. You literally just pop it in there and you can just put the cables in here. Um, you can put your curlers in there and then your straighteners in there. And I just thought that was really good. You can actually attach it 
um, to the wall. There are like screws and stuff, so you could attach it somewhere. But I don't think I will do that just because I don't really want to be drilling holes everywhere. <laughs> um, so I will just probably just keep this in my cupboard, but just keep it all organised. So yeah, I really liked that. So I got that too. The next thing I picked up and really want to start organising is my makeup. I just have so much makeup, it's just everywhere. Um, so I'm trying to organise that at the moment. If you have seen my wardrobe room, I don't actually think I've shown you this, but I do have fitted wardrobes in there already. So I'm going to organise the insides of them because it's like inbuilt shelves in the inside. Um, and I want to organise them shelves and put all of my makeup and stuff in there so that it's just out of the way and covered. But I do need to get some more sort of like organisers and boxes and, boxes and stuff just to, you know, organise all the makeup. So I really wanted to get something for my makeup palettes because, I mean, you wouldn't think I have so many eyeshadow palettes because I literally wear the same eyeshadow every single day. But I do own so many eyeshadow palettes and it is a little bit of a problem. So I found this. To be honest with you, it's a little bit rackety, like, it's so annoying. Um, but you can actually have it, like, selling up like that, which I don't think I will, or you can have it like that. And it's just somewhere that you can slot in your eyeshadow palettes. So there is removable dividers if something's thicker. But yeah, this was, I think it was about £15. Um, so yeah, I got that. Okay, now this next one that I picked up was admittedly a little bit pricey, but... When I come across this, I just fell in love. And it's one of those things that, oh, I just loved it. I couldn't find anything else like it. And I couldn't find anything cheaper. So I ended up just getting it. So I really wanted something to organise my makeup brushes with. Because at the moment, I have like a ton of different parts that they're all in. So it's not uniformed and it was just bugging me. And not only that, I feel like when you put makeup brushes in parts, they get so dusty. It's really not hygienic. So I found this which is just so genius. And it is this storage container. So this was 28 pounds. So like I said, it wasn't the cheapest thing I've got, but I just think it's so unique and a really good idea. So let me talk you through it. So on this side, you have a compartment for your makeup brushes. So these little pearl beads, you obviously are gonna tip into the bottom so it keeps your brushes, you know, standing upright. And then it has this little flip lid where you open it like that and you can get your makeup brushes. But the genius behind this is that it keeps your makeup brushes covered so they're not gonna get all dust on them. So I just thought that was such a good idea to keep them sort of clean and hygienic as possible when you're not using them. Um, and I really like the pearl beads that you put in the bottom as well. And then, the best part of this as well is these little compartments on the side. So these are actually for beauty blenders. I never have anywhere to store my beauty blender and it just ends up going back into my bag, like my makeup bag, probably getting all, you know, disgusting and covered with jams. But on this little unit, there's actually three little drawers for beauty blenders, which I just think is absolutely genius. So yeah, I just thought this was a really, really nice storage solution for makeup brushes and beauty blenders. Like I said, it wasn't the cheapest, but I just couldn't find anything else like this. So yeah, really pleased with that. So moving on, I'm now gonna show you a few sort of like beauty products and beauty things that I have picked up from Amazon. Because I always find as well that Amazon have really good like beauty products at a good price on there too. The first thing I buy off Amazon Beauty Related is my lashes. So the ones I have on now, I always get so many questions about these. These are the Ardell Wispies in the style 113. Now these retail at like £5.50 a packet. So normally £5.50 for one pair of lashes. However, on Amazon you can actually buy five pairs for £18. So you're literally getting like another two pairs. These are the lashes. I've spoke about these so much already. Um, there is a pair missing. They are on my eyes right now. But I've spoke about these lashes a lot. They're my favourite everyday go-to lash. They're just easy to wear. They're comfortable. They're not too much. But I still feel like... I don't know, they, they do something, you know? I probably get like 14 to 20 wears out of like one set. So yeah, I just really love these lashes. So I get them from Amazon, just in case you're wondering. Then the next thing I picked up, beauty related, was some reusable makeup remover pads. Now, for the longest time, whenever I buy my cotton pads, like my makeup pads from Primark, I've had a few comments in the comments bar, like, Laura, you really need to get on like the reusable makeup pads. And slowly, I have been trying to make, you know, more environmental friendly changes when it comes to like face wipes, for example, I don't use face wipes no more. I just use a cleanser and a flannel. But the one thing I hadn't made the change to yet was 
cotton pads. Like, I was still buying cotton pads and putting my micellar water on them. I honestly didn't even realise you could get reusable, like, cotton pads. But you can. So, I picked some up. So, these are the ones that I got. Um, they are called reusable makeup remover pads, 16 soft organic bamboo pads, 100% cotton laundry bag. So they are $7.99 to buy. They come in this little laundry bag and there is 16 soft organic bamboo pads. So they simply look like this. Literally just look like a cotton pad. Obviously they are completely different to a cotton pad. They have a different feel to them, but they do absorb micellar waters and sort of toners just the same as what a cotton pad does. So they are so, so good. They're actually nicer than cotton pads they're so much softer they have a nicer feel to them and they still do the exact same job however they're reusable you don't have to chuck them in the bin after they are reusable so instead of chucking them in the bin like you normally would with a cotton pad you just pop them in this laundry bag so store them somewhere else maybe like get another little pot or some something to store these in and then when you're done with them like just pop the dirty ones into this laundry bag and then when it's full with all your ones that are dirty you simply just pop it in the washing machine with your normal wash and voila clean brand new again you just keep doing that so you'll never need to buy cotton pads again so you're going to be saving money in the long run and also helping the environment so yeah finally done it thank you to everybody for telling me about this because i honestly didn't even know you could get reusable cotton pads cotton pads before this okay and the next thing i'm going to show you are ways to stop spending and wasting money on your beauty regime so i know a lot of people get the nails done every month get their eyebrows waxed and tinted and get like LVL lashes or false lashes done, you know, lash extensions, and it can be such a costly and expensive routine to upkeep. I, for one, don't do it. I just do everything at home. Um, I used to get my acrylics done, but this month I don't have acrylics on and I've just got gel on. But I'm trying to be a little bit more savvy as well and, you know, not spend and waste money. But at the same time, I can appreciate it's nice to have, you know, LVL lashes, like a lash lift. Um, it's nice to obviously maintain your brows and have them tinted and stuff but you can actually do it all from home you know i know it's like a luxury sometimes to go into a salon and get it done and it's nice to have someone else doing it and they probably do do a little bit of a better job than you but you can still get a similar look and you know achieve something similar at home and with a little bit of practice you can get really good at it too so the three things that i have picked up to save myself some coin um, is an eyebrow tint kit a lash lift kit I've been doing a lash lift at home for like the past few months now. This is a brand new box and it is so, so good. Like, let me tell you, with a little bit of practice, you can do your lashes at home. It is easy. And I've also picked up a gel nail kit. So I'm going to show you the eyebrow tint that I use first. I used to use the, is it Eyelure one? Um, I think, I feel like I used to use that one. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I used to use that one, which is sort of like a similar price to this. You might be able to get it a little bit cheaper. I don't know, it was a little bit up and down, the product itself. Like, sometimes it would be great, and sometimes I'd get like a purple tinge to it. Like, the product itself wasn't always consistently a good quality. So anyway, I stopped using that, and I've come across this. I think it's about £9. Uh, little, yeah, this is £9. Um, and it's just an instant eyebrow tint, permanent eyebrow colour, dark brown. Um, it's supposed to last six weeks. I would say, yeah, four to six weeks it lasts and then I'll do it again. Um, and you get four brow colour capsules. So they actually come in colour capsules, which I know sounds really weird. I'll show you what you get. So you do get the instruction manual and everything in this. And then you get your developer and then you get these little capsules. So in here, you actually get these capsules. So you open a capsule, put it into your little bowl that you get, put the developer cream in, and then that will make your paste to put on your eyebrows. You do get these little like brown wooden sticks as well. Um, I just use them to mix. And then I just get like an old angled makeup brush just to actually apply them. Because I just find it's a little bit easier doing that. So like I said, it lasts four to six weeks at a time. You've got at least five months worth here. And you've only paid nine pounds. So yeah, a lot of savings to be made there. And it works really, really well. I get a really good colour from this. And then something I've recently been doing is a lash lift. Now, an LVL lash lift can literally cost, I think it's like £40, maybe even more. Um, and I've had it done once and I love the results, but it's an expensive treatment to maintain. Again, it's something you need to be doing like every six weeks. But £40 every six weeks is a lot of money, let me tell you. Um, but I picked up this kit, I believe it was £20 from Amazon. Um, let me just confirm that because I don't want to be telling you false prices. Oh, it's £21.99. 
$21.99 and you literally get the whole kit to do your LBL lashes at home. So you get glue, four perm lotions, the lift pads and the cleaning tool. So this is what the contents looks like inside. So this is everything you get. I could do a video on all of this actually, like my beauty regime and what I do, just so you know in a little bit more depth. But I'll just briefly tell you how you do these LBL lashes. Obviously, before you do anything, make sure you do a patch test. You need to make sure that you're not allergic to it. I'm not responsible if anybody has like a reaction and stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure you do a patch test with anything that you're like putting on. But you basically get these lash lift pads, I think they're called. Eye pads, I don't even know what the technical term is. But this is what they look like. And this is obviously what is going to lift your eyelashes. So you put this behind your lash here. You glue it down. And then what you then do is get some more lash glue. And you glue the lashes to this. So you glue the lashes to that. And then you then just follow the steps. Um, and put all the different lotions on it. It tells you to, you've got like a perm lotion, a fix lotion, and then you've got a nutrition oil and then a cleanser. So yeah, you take it in terms, I think you put like the perm lotion on first, leave it for like 30 minutes, I think it is. Then you put the fixation lotion on, leave it for 30 minutes, and then you have to like clean it off and then at the end, you should be left with your lashes lifted. Yeah, that was really brief and you might not have understood what I was on about there. But yeah, that's simply what you do. It can be a little bit fiddly. So you might want to get like your mum to help you, your boyfriend to help you or a friend to do it for you. But once you've sort of done a few practice runs on your own, you do get the hang of it. And I love doing that. I feel like it makes such a difference when you haven't got makeup on. And then something else I have recently bought to sort of like save myself money from going and getting my acrylic nails and all the time. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm completely converted to just doing this every single month because I do love getting my nails done. And you know, sometimes it's just a nice pick me up, a nice treat. Like I said, I don't, get my hair done every month, I don't get lashes done every month, I don't get my brows done every month. So yeah, the odd treat to a set of acrylics, you know, it's still there. But for a couple of months, I am just gonna try and just have gel nails instead and not go to the nail salon and pay 30 pound and have my nails done. So I picked up this kit, which was 40 pound. And honestly, it is so worth it. I never do my toes anyway. Normally I just paint them, but now I can do gel on my toes. I'm gonna to show you what you get in this kit because I'm really, really impressed with it. And I did my nails the other day, still on. I think like one's chipped slightly, but yeah, seems really good quality stuff. So let me show you what you get in this gel kit because I think for the price of 40 pounds, it is so, so good. So you get the UV lamp, that obviously, so sort of like sets your nails. You get two polishes in here, which is the base coat and the top coat for your gel nails. You also get a matte coat as well. So if you don't want that shine finish, you can have a matte finish. You then get this little packet, which contains so many little bits and bobs in. So you get two nail files, you get a nail buffer as well. You get your nail dividers, you then get these French nail tip guides. So if you wanna do like a French manicure, there's these tip guides to put on the end of your nails so you can, you know, make them as neat and as professional as possible. There's then these like silver and gold, I don't even know what these are. I don't know if they're like for nail art or something. I think they're like nail art things. Um, so yeah, like some nail art decorations. You also get these little crystals, like diamante things for like nail art decorations, which is really good if you're into that. Then get like a nail brush. Then get these like five nail tips. So if you want to test out a colour before, you know, you test it out on your own nails, you can do it on here. And then you also get these tools. So there is this one. I don't actually know what that is. Another nail tool. I don't actually know what all of these are because, you know, I'm not professional. <laughs> and then I think this is like a cuticle pusher. I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, you get that one too. So honestly, you get so many little extras with this. It's so good for £40. Then yeah. on top of that, gals, you get the nail varnishes too. So you get six gel nail polishes. So the ones that I picked, like the kit that I picked, actually contained a sort of like mixture of like nudes, pinks, and I think there's a couple of grey shades as well. And I think there's like a pink glittery shade. But yeah, you get six gel nail polishes and that's all for £40. So yeah, I think that is such good value for all of that. And like I said, it can save you some money as well. So you don't have to go and get your nails done professionally every single month. Okay, so moving on to the last couple of things I got from Amazon. We're nearly at the end. I've 
feel like I've been speaking the last two hours. Um, and the first thing is this cable organizer. So again, another thing I really wanted to sort out was my wires, my cables, my chargers, my SD cards. I just felt like I needed a place where they all went because currently they're just shoved in a basket in my cupboard and they all get tangled and they just don't look that tidy. So I found this on Amazon, it's literally just this case and you open it and then inside you can just pop all your wires in so like you know your iphone leads your camera charger um obviously i have like batteries and things for cameras so i can pop them in there so i know they're there um there's also a compartment for an sd card so you can put your sd cards in there um, so they're not going to get lost there's some more sort of like places to put wires i just thought this was so so good so yeah instead of just chucking like wires loosely into baskets you can just put them all in here and it just keeps them really really organized i think this was around about like 10 pound um ah oh, 14.99 you can get cheaper ones i wear ones for like 10 pound but I don't know, I just really like this pink one. So yeah, I got that. And then moving on to the last thing I picked up, um, it was these magnets. So I know this sounds really, really random. So I got six strong magnets. These were $8.99, let me have a look. Yeah, these were $8.99 for six. They're really, really strong magnets, which just made me have a brainwave um, about my spice rack. So they're sticky back magnets. So I originally got these for my kitchen door to stick on like utensils that are just too big and bulky for my drawers. Again, I can't remember who I saw this on. I saw this on someone's Instagram, like an organiser Instagrammer. And in their kitchen, they had got these magnets and put them on the backs of the doors. And then just got things like, you know, like a garlic crusher, um, your peeler. And they just got them all neatly on the backs of the doors. And just thought, oh, that's such a good idea. So I got them primarily for that. But I also just thought I could actually use these for my spice rack as well. Well because they're so strong so they'll probably need a couple or maybe three or four I don't know I'm gonna see if it's gonna work and it's gonna be strong enough um, and so I can just stick these to the back of my doors and hopefully that might stick on I don't know if it will be too heavy though maybe I might need a stronger solution but we'll see we'll see I'll test it out so anyway that is everything that I got from Amazon and these are my sort of like top picks and things that I love getting from Amazon I really really hope you have enjoyed watching this video I would love to hear what things you like to buy from Amazon and you know if there's anything that you have bought from Amazon that is just like revolutionary just something that you know you can't live without or just some good organization things or knickknack let me know in the comments bar I love to hear from you guys yeah thank you so so much for watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and I shall see you all in my next video bye bye